The force is with us. The higher consciousness that science refuses to accept, written by Thomas Walker. It is a book about psychic phenomena. Apparently, the author had lost a son at the age of 25, and um, the book is to his memory. There is much information at, about psychic phenomena, people who have special powers, all, all the different, uh, you know, out-of-body experience, um, telekinesis, clairvoyance, many, many uh, subjects come up. Astrology, how the moon and sun play a part, and our, this force goes um, out into space. He um, gives a lot of information about scientists and doctors that have been involved with this and how the authorities um, usually shut them down or find a way to quiet them. One of the uh, ones that caught my attention was Dr. Franz Anton Mesmer, born in 1734, and that's where, where the word mesmerize comes from. He was a psychic uh, healer. He used a medium for it. Eventually he stopped using the medium, but he was so successful the authority shut him, him down. And also a Wilhelm Reich, he was born in 1897. He was an heir to Sigmund Freud's work. And apparently he was working in like a, a dark room or kind of a black box area where blue lights would appear and he would even get a suntan from it. But apparently his work was so threatening that the Russians burned all his work in 1933. The Nazis burned his work in 1935. And yes, the Americans burned his work in 1956. The feds came after him. So, And there's more uh, written about doctors and scientists and just people that had powers. Um, the remote viewing spy program. It has quite a bit written on it in this book. Now, remote viewing, it brought up that the CIA and Stanford University there in the Bay Area uh, where is where all this was going on at, and they wanted to clean up the name. Uh, so they got rid of the notion of clairvoyance and, a clairvoyance and astral projection and began calling it remote viewing. Remember, you have a lot of professionals in the CIA involved, and they want to make it sound a little bit more, uh, you know, get rid of the charlatan type image to it. And the program went on for quite some time. It sounds to me like it ran out of money sometime in the early 1990s, but they conducted many experiments. They were doing psychic spying, and it was something that could be learned, too. Um, in 1976, the Viking Orbiter 1 was launched. And it took many, many uh, pictures, images out in space, but it orbited Mars many, many times, taking many, many images. When they eventually uh, went through the images, uh, they found in the Cydonia region of Mars, uh, an image had been taken of a humanoid face, and also pyramids uh, were spotted there, too. The Mars Observer was launched in 1993, and apparently it took some effort to talk the authorities into putting a camera on that to go back and take more pictures, which they they did eventually put the camera on before launching it. But guess what? It disappeared six days within the first uh, orbit of Mars. And one of the scientists um, said, that's Big Brother. They don't want to share the information. They're going in there to investigate alone and by themselves. A side note, I read a book about on Tesla, oh, a year or two years ago, and at the very end of the book, when Tesla died, this doesn't come out every place, but all his uh, notebooks were snatched up too. So, so Big Brother's always in there uh, hoarding all that information. They don't want others to have it. So um, the last chapter of the book talks about the heart and transplant plant patients who have memories of the previous um, donor and how the heart tissue is made up of uh, different cells from regular muscle t tissue. In the back of the book, like I said, there are many, many sources, but also um, it gives a list of books for more reading on the topic. Great book.